From the mountains of central British Columbia to you listening around the world, this, my friends, is Spaced Out Radio. I am your host, Dave Scott, sitting in the captain's chair of SOR headquarters. We welcome you to tonight's show on our terrestrial affiliates across North America and digitally on TalkStream Live and Revolution Radio. If you want to take a listen to our archives, they are free at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. Just do me the favor, hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Twitter at Spaced Out Radio for the show and my personal handle at Dave Scott SOR. Our website is spacedoutradio.com where we have a plethora of features for you. Rock out to Bumblefoot, read up on Captain Shirk's SOR Newswire, and much more. Tonight's show is brought to you by Chive Charities. Help make the world 10% happier by visiting Chive Charities today. You can find them on our website. Bill Hauser is an independent paranormal researcher and investigator out of Vancouver, British Columbia. Every couple of months, Bill stops by to hang out, have a little chat about ghosts, and and what the hell, we try and conjure up some spirits to communicate with during our live ghost box sessions. So what is a ghost box, if you're unfamiliar? Well, Bill, will break it down to you here for in just a couple of minutes. Tonight's show is audience participation. So if you're listening in, and you're not in one of our chat rooms, get a pen and paper and write down what you hear coming from the ghost box. See if it matches those who are in our chat rooms as well. Now, if you're in one of our chat rooms, don't type out every word that you hear, like build them up, put a comma in between, and let's see if we could get some answers from some real spirits tonight. We're listening for voices that are trying to talk to us behind the scenes and communicate from the other side. Then at the bottom of hour number three, I will bring you the SOR Newswire brought to you by Paranoia Magazine. Mr. Bill Hauser, my good friend, always a pleasure to have you on Spaced Out Radio. How are you? I'm doing great, and I just want to say hello to all your great audience out there. Thanks, buddy. Ten years you've been doing this. you got an anniversary here. Yeah, so that's ten years uh, using the ghost box. So, uh, yeah, recently I set up a new YouTube channel. So it's under William Hauser. So if you look on YouTube and go under William Hauser, you'll uh, see it there. I've already got three videos, and I'll be adding more as uh, things move along. And uh, I've been doing stuff in the car, a little self-isolation kind of stuff, going out to different locations right now. But however, it's uh, it's good. I'm enjoying it. And uh, yeah, it's great. So unfortunately, I can't do any investigations right now. But what I have been doing is uh, personal sessions for people on Skype. And uh, that seems to be working quite well. So anyway... uh, Life has been good, and uh, yeah, we've had some great weather here as well, and it's starting to change now, unfortunately, so probably get a little thunder and lightning tonight, so that'll add to the mix. Well, I can tell you this, my friend. I mean, you're in the lower mainland. I mean, the weather can shift from sunshine to rain within about six minutes, and then you get 45 days straight of rain. Oh, yeah, definitely, because of the mountains and everything. Everything gets locked in with the uh, stuff oh, getting yes. blown in from the Pacific. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's been a great little time there. It's I, I couldn't believe how warm it got there. So it was like summer, just like that bango. I know. It was like, uh, what, up to 31 Celsius or whatever. So, yeah, it's, uh, it was, yeah, it was very warm. So I was wearing shorts my first time this year wearing shorts. So it's nice. great. Nice. Yeah, I, summertime. I've been wearing I've been wearing shorts for four weeks, man. The minute it broke like two degrees Celsius, actually, I'll, I'll admit it was four degrees Celsius. I've been in shorts ever since, man. Every day oh, I've been in shorts. Okay, yeah, can't do it. I I I, I hate pants. I do. I, I have a couple of pairs of shorts that are my old reliables, and there's still no holes in them, so I'm wearing them. And if I can wear them. It just makes me feel that much better. My friend, 10 years in the ghost box, the ITC community, you've been a paranormal investigator for a little bit longer than that, but why did you switch from regular paranormal investigation that most people have tried or or have currently uh, been doing, and you focus specifically on the ghost box? Well, you know, I mean, yeah, I done the ghost hunting side of it and uh you know i've done that for over 20 years so 
yeah, it's been great doing that. And then, you know, 10 years ago, I started looking at, uh, I saw a lot of stuff, information about the ghost box, and it was starting to pick up momentum, and I was very curious. So I ended up going down to Bellingham and purchasing a, a little radio that I could hack, and that was how I first got started doing the whole aspect of uh, ITC ghost box work. Why though did you switch over? Did you did you feel that it was in, to enhance your communication with spirits on the other side, or did you just want to try something new? Well, originally it was something new, but then I realized I had a pretty good connection. So the contact field, as they would say, uh, I look at using the ghost box too as a form of mediumship. So it's like electronic me- mediumship. So basically, it kind of resonated with me and you know basically i started you know with one ghost box and i bought another that i hacked and eventually i went to the custom builts and you know i mean it's been a been a fun progression shall we say of all the different radials that i've used right hey i just want to make a quick quick psa because i know there's some people who are trying to log into our website right now and having troubles all right uh, I was talking to the Gavinator, our web guy, over the last couple of days, and we have had a very sharp increase over the last couple of weeks on our website and traffic to our website. And because our website is, uh, I, I don't want to say antiquated or anything like that, but because it's uh, it, it's a, like a fledgling type website, it hasn't been able to handle the, the traffic that is there. So we are working on the website. Hopefully we're going to get something uh, done and new and improved here uh, very, very soon again. But uh, I do uh, I do apologize to everybody who's trying to hit our website and trying to figure out, hey, how do I log in? How do I listen? You know, best ways to listen would be on TalkStream Live or one of our radio affiliates from Saga 960 to KZFX in Ridge uh, Crest, California, KDUN in Oregon, all right, uh, WQEE in Noonan, Georgia, UPRN in, where are they, New Orleans, and of course, Saga 960 and KZAX, Saga 960 in Mississauga, Ontario, and KZAX 94.9 LPFM in Bellingham, Washington. So that's part of the reason why... uh, we're a little bit down right now, but it's a good problem to have. It really is a good problem to have for us. That means we're growing and trending in the right direction, which is always, always fantastic. So we are working on that. Bill, sorry about that. I just had to get that in because I know there were some questions coming on in. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's great. Well, it's good that you're getting bigger audiences as time moves yeah. on. Yeah, you're getting well known now and popular. That's awesome. Well, I think it's the beard, Bill. I think it's the beard. Not so much the hair anymore as it is the beard. Because I'm using this Mighty Moose beard oil now. And, you know, it's oh, making my beard feel nice. nice and smooth and smells good and and everything along those lines. No shameless plug intended there. But, you know, it, it makes it work well. It, it, it really does. You know, I'll just put some of that on while we're talking right now. But nonetheless, Bill, as you started going down the road of the ITC box 10 years ago, did you think you were going to have the success in the paranormal that you have? You know, no, not really. I didn't even think I was going to do talk radio. That was sort of brought on a couple years later. Uh, Actually, pardon me, it was the next year after, so 2010, so 2011. uh, It was a lady in New York there, uh, who became a nice, good friend of mine and uh, a mentor as well. And she encouraged me to get more involved in doing talk radio. Said I had a good voice for one thing, and also I was able to do things with the ghost box and stuff. So that was good. And then it just sort of slowly progressed. And then, you know, I started going on other radio shows, and it was great. And it it really took off for you. And, And you have become one of the most respected voices in the ITC community. And, and you know, for anybody, Bill, that's hard to do, okay? Especially when you're new, that is hard to do. You know, how hard was it to not only build that reputation, but in order to, to keep it? Because, you know, when you're, when you're trying to, it's easy to build a reputation, but to keep it is, is extremely difficult. 
Yeah, well, you know, I mean, that was the whole premise of why I wanted to do this, was to keep everything very straightforward and honest. And, uh, you know, I I enjoy doing this to begin with. And, you know, if I can help somebody make contact with a loved one, that, uh, you know, it means a lot. Bill, what's the best experience you've ever had using the ghost box that you can recall? The best one? Uh, is when they say thank you. Uh, I've had that uh, on a few occasions, and uh, that was really good. You know, they said thank you, Bill, and I thought that was really nice. So what happened there? Break that down for us. Well, it was just a very short little uh, blurb of uh, two words, and it said, or three, actually. It said thank you, Bill, and, uh, yeah, it was me using the ghost box and allowing them to speak and, you know, allowing them to have a voice, shall we say, uh, from the other side. And, you know, the analogy I have with the ghost box is kind of like having a uh, speakerphone. It's just everybody can hear it when it's on a speakerphone, and that's great. So, yeah, it's kind of like the telephone to the dead, but, you know, you're using a radio, mind you. But, uh, yeah, it's it works well, and... uh, you know, as I've progressed with different radios, they've all worked very well in different situations, so I'm happy. Bill, I know I ask you this question each time, but our listenership is always changing. There's a lot of people out there who will say that this is audio pareidolia, that this really isn't something that that works, that this is your mind tricking you to hear what you want to hear. For the critics out there, You know, what's your response to that? You know, I keep going back to when you listen to stuff on the on the radio and you record it and you go back to listen to it after you look for intelligent responses. So I've always kept to that intelligent response uh, comment that I use. And that's how I kind of measure my success by doing it. Is it something intelligible and are we able to understand it to begin with? Yeah, there are a lot of random words out there. And then, of course, you get a little bit of the uh, broadcast radio uh, snippets, uh, you know, the remnants of that happening. But usually you'll know when these voices come through. I mean, they stand out above the scan. And, you know, I mean, they're very strong. I mean, I can feel the energy here, you know, with the radio beside me kind of thing when it happens. So, yeah, I mean... The more you do it, the more feel you get for it, and that's kind of how it's worked for me. Yeah, I can understand some people not understanding it fully and, you know, wondering what this is all about. But, you know, until you actually try it, it's uh, it's something you're going to sit on the sidelines kind of with your finger against your brain kind of thing, wondering what what's this all about. So when you are going through this and people are hearing there will be a click, 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 click type sound, and trust me, it'll sound better than what I can make it sound like. Click, 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 you know, <laughs> but, but you know, what, what should people be listening for? Well, you know, the radio has been using for the last, uh, I guess, uh, six or seven months now since uh, you was uh, I moved away from using the direct link is... Uh, it's the Colas Box 89, and it's going into this echo effect speaker system that's uh, allowing people to hear it more better. And then it also uh, reduces a lot of the remnants of broadcast radio. So that way you're able to hear it a lot better than, you know, uh, what I was using before. I mean, the other one worked very well, too. Don't get me wrong, but... You know, I mean, for some people, when they first start listening, they just don't know what to listen for. And so, you know, you try to make it as pleasant as possible for them to hear it. Bill Hauser is our guest tonight on Spaced Out Radio. Now, you're out of Vancouver, British Columbia, which is near my old hometown. And, you know, I know the area well, but for people who have never been to Vancouver or have have heard what goes on, Vancouver is a very, very awesome multicultural society where there's, you know, people from every race and creed there, different languages. I mean, it's it's not uncommon to be able to pick up radio stations in Chinese, English, French, Punjabi, whatever it may be. And so when you are getting those types of of interactions with different languages as the ghost box spins around, 
how do you tell whether or not you're actually getting an answer? Yeah, that's a good question. You think that uh, it's coming from one of the cultural radio shows. Uh, to begin with, uh, like, for example, Chinese, both Mandarin and Cantonese, uh, I've been able to, uh, with a friend of mine, he's helped me uh, navigate through that. So we look for the intelligent responses, and we've been able to uh, pinpoint it really well with, uh, of course, he understands the language, I don't, so... That's uh, been a really good help, as well as uh, he's part Vietnamese, so he speaks Vietnamese. So that's three different languages that he's able to. And then, of course, uh, the Filipino language, Tagalog, uh, I've had some help on that as well. And uh, uh, not so much on the Punjabi and the Indian languages, but uh, however, I have had uh, those uh, people come through as well. Sometimes they do say things in their own native tongue. But they do speak English with accents, so you get accents that are going with it. And they're, uh, you know, I look at the awareness, so they're saying, hey, Bill, and, you know, things like that. They're very aware of you uh, communicating with them as well. Bill, when you are doing this, uh, do you prefer to do these sessions on your own, or do you prefer to have someone with you to help verify well, to verify, you can do that after when I've recorded, say, uh, say I'm out somewhere in a park or, you know, somewhere uh, maybe on investigation or whatever, and then I can break it down after and listen to it and decipher uh, with, you know, the right people there to help me with the languages if I believe that's coming through. So, uh, again, I prefer to be on my own when I can, but I also like to be with people on other occasions. Uh, I like events. I've done a lot of events where I've done ghost box sessions and people have asked me to try to make contact with loved ones and so on. So I've been able to help them. I mean, it doesn't always happen, but I mean, when it does, it's really gratifying. Bill, is there any type of investigation you do not do with the ghost box? Uh, well, I don't go after celebrities and, you know, people of famous status like that. Uh, historical figures, yeah, I, I, you know, if, it's, if they've been dead for like over 100 years or so, yeah, I, I, I enjoy trying to make contact with uh, historical figures. But, you know, celebrities that have just passed over or whatever, no, I don't do that. I mean, it's just, I find that disrespectful. There are members of your ITC community who do that, though. And they say that they are getting messages from people who just passed on. You know, uh, Steve Huff out of Chicago is probably the most famous of them all in trying to do that. Do you, you know, what, what kind of a black eye does that bring to your community with people who are trying to take advantage of, say, going to the, the most famous celebrity who's just passed and trying to contact them on the other side? Well, you know, it comes down to ethics and, you know, just like any other thing that you do out there, if you're in work or whatever, you have uh, working ethics. But, you know, even in the paranormal as a ghost hunter or doing ITC uh, ghost hunting or, you know, with the ghost box, you have ethics and so on. So I keep to, uh, you know, a fairly stringent ethics of what I do. At least I'm accountable for what I do. I can't talk about other people, but, you know, I mean, they sooner or later probably will realize that the heat will be on them enough that uh, they may pull back from doing those kinds of uh, behavior uh, and posting them on YouTube and so on. But does it affect all, though? I mean, here's the thing. When you have, say, say Mr. Huff... And I'm not sure whether or not he's faking. I mean, that's for other people to to say whether he is or not. But for me, when I see him all of a sudden say, grab the latest celebrity that has just passed, and in 24 hours he has a new video on his YouTube channel stating that he has communicated with that said star on the other side and talked about their death. I mean, to me, that just reeks of not only arrogance, but it reeks of trying to steal publicity as well. Well, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? I mean, 
a lot of times you get a lot of heat for doing stuff like that. So, you know, if you want to get bad heat for it, you know, bad publicity and still, you know, people know you for all the wrong reasons. But, you know, I mean, really, I mean, you have to think about your own well-being here and how you pursue yourself out there in the field and then how you present yourself as well. All right, Bill, we've only got about two minutes here before we need to go to break here at the bottom of the hour. Bill Hauser is our guest. For people who may not understand what the ghost box sounds like, let's give them a test so that way they can hear what you do. We've got two minutes. Okay. Hello. Who would like to talk to me? How many actual spirits around here? Are you able to tell me? More than ten? You have anything in particular you want to tell me? Are we happy tonight? You think I could get a name, please? Okay, we're going to get back to you and communicate. Goodbye. So a lot of people may hear that, and they may say, what the heck am I listening to? We'll tell you how and what to listen for when we come back. Bill Hauser is our guest tonight on Spaced Out Radio. He's a Vancouver, British Columbia paranormal investigator where he communicates with those on the other side by using what they call the ghost box. If you're new to this, you're going to hear a bunch of squelching, but stay and listen because you just may hear something from a spirit on the other side. We'll be back with more Bill Hauser live ghost box sessions with your questions coming up right after this on Spaced Out Radio. Hey, space travelers. This is John Resig, founder of the Chive and Chive Charities. If you know anything about our website, you know we like to do things a little differently. We're not some faceless organization collecting money for a nebulous cause. Our donor dollars go directly toward life-improving items. Then we give those items directly to an underdog who needs it most. To become a donor with Spaced Out Radio's official charity, Chive Charities, just go to chivecharities.org forward slash donate. From the heartlands of Canada to beards around the world, we know how to take care of you. Fill your follicles with the Mighty Moose Beard Oil. All our oils and balms are handmade and 100% natural ingredients because we care about your beard. And hey, use the promo code SOR2019 and get your Mighty Moose Beard Oil today. You can check us out on our website, MightyMooseBeard.com. Hello, this is yoga tall man Ron Bumblefoot Thaw, and I have to tell you, I love the response I get for Little Brother is Watching from Spaced Out Radio fans. It's amazing how music can inspire and make people think deeper about what's going on in the supernatural world. You can head over to my website, bumblefoot.com, to check out my music, my guitar workshops, my touring, even check out some of the hot sauces that I'm working on. And make sure you keep on listening, because with Spaced Out Radio, you know Little Brother is Watching. 
we're adding to the entertainment online for Spaced Out Radio. I'm Amber Beckard, and I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out Cryptid Tales, where I will take you on a journey into some of the strangest legends and lore from around the world, relaying the stories to you of the strange creatures and experiences that people have had throughout time. You can find Cryptid Tales at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. And while you're there, don't forget to check out our free archives and leave a comment. See you there. Hey everybody, the SOR Space Travelers is open. For just five bucks a month, you can hang out with Dave and our crew privately in our members only section. With your signing, you'll receive newsletters on what's going on with Spaced Out Radio. You'll have direct contact with the host during the show in our chat, live streaming videos, and a great forum for your posts and more. Become a space traveler now at spacedoutradio.com. You wanted new SOR gear, and now you can have it. The SOR Vault is fully stocked with t-shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, and everything in between with great logos for you to choose from. So head on over to spacedoutradio.com, click on the SOR Vault, and go shopping. Pricing is quite affordable, and you can look good representing your favorite show. So go to our website and pick up your new SOR wear at the SOR Vault today. If you like it hot, real hot, then heat up your meals with Bumblefoot Hot Sauce. Get your Bumblefoot Hot Sauce today. The sauce, Bumblelicious, and the 4 million Scoville unit, Bumble f- We're going in hot, real hot, coming out even hotter. Keep the milk nearby. And tantalize your taste buds tonight. Bumblefoot Hot Sauce, available now at kajons.com. Cold drinks, great food, and the best music in Vancouver. The Moose Vancouver is the place to be, open until 2 a.m. nightly. Everything on the menu starts at just $6.95. Who serves food that cheap anymore? At the Moose, you'll never know who you'll run into. Rock stars, actors, athletes, it's the place everyone wants to be. So join us at the Moose Vancouver, the Moose Vancouver, the official party bar of Spaced Out Radio. Hello, space travelers. It's me again, Carl. Don't forget to join the Space Travelers Club for just five bucks a month and follow Spaced Out Radio on Twitter at Spaced Out Radio. Our Instagram, Dave Scott SOR. Our Facebook page is Spaced Out Radio Show. Our archives are free at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. Come woo it up with Spaced Out Radio today. Bye. Are you looking for great advertising value for your company? Look no further than Spaced Out Radio. We have a multitude of places to get your name out there, including commercial ads during the show, special promotions, and banners on our website. Our audience has proven to support the companies that support our show. We can make your budget work for you. For more information, please contact us at sales at spacedoutradio.com. At spacedoutradio.com, we are keeping you up to date on all the news with the SOR Newswire. Captain Shirk leads the team that is bringing you the news of the day and exclusive stories on everything paranormal and supernatural. It's free to read, it's updated daily, and it's right there for you. The SOR Newswire is a one-stop shop for the news of the day. Check it out at spacedoutradio.com today. need that weekend's supernatural fix look no further than spaced out saturday right here at spacedoutradio.com i'm stacy edwards and i'm john edwards each saturday night stacy and i are going to bring you the best in paranormal cryptids ufos you name it and we're going there it's all about the experience and to share the knowledge with all of you so tune us in every saturday night on spaced out saturdays starting at 906 p.m pacific 1206 a.m eastern only at spacedoutradio.com We're taking Sunday nights out of this world on Spaced Out Radio. This is Michael W. Hall, also known as the Paranormal Lawyer. Together, we're going to go on an exciting journey into the unknown. I'm going to bring you some of the best interviews in the paranormal and supernatural to start your new week off on a freaky note. So tune in to Spaced Out Sundays with me, Michael W. Hall, only on SpacedOutRadio.com.
Welcome back to the second half hour of Spaced Out Radio tonight. I am your host, Dave Scott, sitting in the captain's chair of SOR headquarters. Thank you so much for joining us. want to remind all of you that if you miss portions of this show or others, you can check out our free archives at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. Just do me the favor, hit that subscribe button. Our website is spacedoutradio.com, where we have a plethora of features for you, including rocking out to Bumblefoot and reading up on Captain Shirk's SOR Newswire, plus so much more. And, of course, follow us on Twitter at Spaced Out Radio for the show and at Dave Scott SOR for my personal handle. Live Ghost Box sessions are going to get underway here momentarily on Spaced Out Radio. So what we've asked all of you to do is, if you're in one of our chat rooms, listen along. Then type out all the responses you hear to the questions that Bill are, is asking and what you're hearing on the ghost box. And then once at a time, just hit enter with all of them. I don't want to be able to read like one or two words and then another line, one or two words. It just makes it difficult because there's usually a lot of people playing along. If you're sitting at home, grab a pen and paper. Have some fun with us. Live ghost box sessions with Bill. Start right now. Thanks for coming in, Bill. Well, thank you, Dave. We're going to start off with Julie. Right off the bat. Okay. And she she's wondering if we got any messages from her first husband, David Lee, on the other side. Okay. Hello. I have Julie here on the other side of my computer. She wants to get a hold of her formal husband who passed over David Lee David are you there David are you there Julie wants to hear your voice you have a message for her. David, do you have a message for her? Are you doing okay on your side? Are you truly happy there? Are you at peace? What would you like to tell Julie, David? She can hear you. You have a message for her. What would you like to tell her? particular you'd like to tell her, David? You doing okay? What else would you like to say, David? Lee? (laughs) 
You have something of importance you want to tell Julie? Anything in final you'd like to say, David? Okay, well, thank you for communicating. Goodbye. All right. That was interesting. That's a good test. There, there, there was a one voice with a little bit accented, which just kept on popping on in. I yeah, got I noticed. High. Yeah, <clears throat> go ahead, Bill. Oh, I just was commenting. Yeah, I noticed. I and I got high, and then the word payback. I didn't get anything for the first minute or so, and then payback, and then I heard the name Dave, and then flute, and then that that accented voice came in, and when you asked about whether or not there was a, a message for Julie, I got real strongly. I love you. Wow. And and then hey and then hot daddy in that same voice and then you when you asked if there was something more you wanted to say I got, uh, in that same voice again I got is this true enough so that was kind of cool that oh, yeah. was very very mm-hmm. cool okay Renee got hi David Lee in a female voice hello look out I love you. Yeah, okay. Remember the time we went? And April got David, David. Well, hello. Look out. Peace, David. Hello. Yeah, David. Ha. Quilty. Or maybe guilty. You gotta be a... And then no. Daddy. Damn it. Yes, Wales. I know. David, how happy we went. And let's see what else we got here. Um, Nathan got Lee, anybody? Lee, David, hey, I am. David, Julie, yeah, I hear you. No, wait, bag, bags. David, good. How about you, song? I know. Are you there? Happily went. And uh, we go from there. He is of a German, uh, Julie is confirming, he, he is of a German family and his father just passed as well. So that's kind of interesting. Renee, got love you. Hey, what? Hi, there it is. David again. And let's see. Sandra, got wait. David, run, payback, dead, screw it. Duds, like, hey, what the heck? You had me, now daddy. And uh, I got hot daddy. She got now daddy. You dare? The wife, you know? So that's kind of cool. We got we got lots. Of, and I'm waiting for... Uh, Nicole or Nikki's paragraph here. And yeah, I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Nikki. <laughs> I am waiting. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Let's see here. Rhonda, Rahonda joining us. Hi, Rahonda on Twitter at hashtag spaced out radio. She got bilingual, payback, Ed does it, yellow, feelings, connect, edit, clear by you, how we went. Matthew had, I had Julie on the other side. David, are you here? David, do you have a message for her? There you go. And let's see what else we got. Because I know Nikki's going to come blasting in here momentarily. Uh, Oh, yeah, she got over 600 words. On that one. How do you write that down in 600 <laughs> words? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, you go. All right, let's get to the next question here. And this one, uh, we'll get to Carl. We, we'll get to Carl near the end of the show. 
Jeannie is saying today is the anniversary of my sister Diane, who passed away 15 years ago on May 11th. It was Mother's Day, then needed to, t- and I'd like to try and contact with her, hopefully, her sister Diane from Jeannie. Okay. Hello. Here we go. I have Diane here. Do you have a message for her? Do you have a message for her here? What would you like to tell her? Jeannie. Jeannie, are you at peace? Okay. Diane would really like a message from you. Can you give her a message, please? Can you give her a message, please? What would you like to tell Diane, please? She'd really like to hear from you. What's it like on the other side? You doing okay over there? Jamie there on the other side. Have something in particular you got to tell you need to Diane. I know I keep asking that. She just really wants to hear from you. Thank you for communicating. Goodbye. All right. 
So there, I don't know about you, Bill, but I wasn't hearing too many female voices in that one. No, I was getting a lot of male voices, and of course, it's almost sounded like yeah. they're communicating amongst themselves too. So, yeah, you're getting uh, a lot other types of voices coming through for sure. Absolutely, I got fox and woman right off the bat, and then I got straight this one single man voice. Start off with powerful. What do you want? I seen that, but you asked, uh, you know, do you have a message? for genie and kind of like in a hazy sounding voice it came like real powerful the word dream yeah. and then followed by magic in a female voice and then a male voice that same male voice came back and said let's see you get out of this hmm. that's what I got yeah Sandra got here you go happy high work hat you look cute, Miami. Don't get caught, Steve. Hello. There is there. It's likely stages eighteen years or so. And let me see here. What else we got? Renee got noise. Prince. Uh huh. Wolfman. It. Well, this isn't help. Amen. Key. Key. The bucket course. No way. Karen. D. N. Yeah. No. You're it. Jacks or jackals. I can show you the what do you want me and few die. And let's see. Greco got, oh, I'm scared. Work it. What's your intent? I have issues. Caught. Help me. Synapses. Everybody, listen. What do you want? Trust. I see that. Likes you. See. And aliens. And let's go over. To, uh, Moonstone got, what do you want? Only thing that they heard loudly. So let's go over to here. And, okay, that's for Julie from Nikki. I'm just waiting for Nikki's second one to come up because that thing will be a mile long. Mile long. And looking around here and seeing what else is around. I'm just checking all the other chat rooms right now to see where we are. I think we got it all. I think we got it all right there. And uh, let's move on. Let us move on here. And let's go to G-Girl. Hi, G-Girl. How are you? She would like to know about her cousin who passed away two years ago. His name is Alex. Now, we only got about four minutes for this one, Bill. So okay. we uh, let's let's do a, a four minute session, and then we'll read the responses when we get back. How about that? Okay, excellent. All right, G girl. And her, G girl. We're looking for Al Alex. We're looking for Alex. Hello. I have G girl here. She's looking for Alex. Are you there? Do you have a message for G Girl? Alex, are you doing okay on the other side? Are you happy? you like to tell G Alex? You must have a message for her. Would you like to say something to her? Oh, 
would you like to tell Blue Girl? I know I keep bothering you. We'd really like to hear your voice. like to tell Jeannie, pardon me, and Seagull, Alex, I know you're there, you're a little hesitant, I sense you, what would you like to tell Jeannie, you must have something to tell her. The right to go home? Oh, okay. You have something you'd like to say? What would you like to say in closing, Alex? You have something you'd like to say? Okay. Well, we thank you for communicating. <laughs> Goodbye. Good timing, Bill, because we're just about to wrap this up here. In hour number two, we will get to your responses on the live ghost box session. If you're thinking, what the heck is this on my radio? Don't worry. It's supposed to be that way. More Spaced Out Radio. In hour two, live ghost box sessions with Bill Hauser, Vancouver Paranormal Investigator, right after this on the Mighty SOR. We are scouring the world for the most intriguing stories of your day. Take the time to read up on the SOR Newswire, where our team, led by Captain Shirk, will deliver to you some of the best paranormal and supernatural news, along with some stories that will blow your mind from the weird to the wacky. It's the news outside the news that piques interest, and that's what we're looking to deliver to you. The SOR Newswire, only at spacedoutradio.com. The SOR Vault is open for business, and do we have some cool swag for you to pick up. All you have to do is head over to our website and click on the SOR Vault. You have a variety of cool logos to choose from, and put them on anything you want. T-shirts, hoodies, hats, coffee mugs, you name it, we can get it to you. So do your shopping by supporting the store you love. Get your Spaced Out Radio swag at the SOR Vault today. Hi. This is Amber Beckrude, and I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we store all of the SOR show archives for free. And as an added bonus, every two weeks, I'm posting brand new content on Cryptid Tales, where I will get into some of the spookier legends and folklore from around the world and tell the stories that go with them. Find us at youtube.com forward slash spaced out radio and check out Cryptid Tales today. Drop a comment and let me know what you want to hear. See you there. Are you an experiencer of something strange that can't be explained? Do you want help finding out what's going on? I'm Ryan Stacy, head of the Experiencer Support Association, otherwise known as TESSA. We've teamed up with Spaced Out Radio to investigate cases filled out in the SOR Sightlines Report. We are independent and there's no cost to what we do. All we need is your experience. Let's find out what's happening together on the SOR Sightlines Report. Looking for creative ways to get your company out in the public? 
How about advertising on Spaced Out Radio? Our sales department is waiting to hear from you, and we can work around any budget. From commercial spots to banners to special promotions, there are many opportunities to get your name and product out to our SOR listeners. For a price guide and more information, please contact us at sales at spaceoutradio.com. Hi there, this is the paranormal lawyer, Michael W. Hall. I'd like to invite you to listen in each Sunday night where we're going to open up your eyes to everything strange and paranormal. I will be hosting some great guests with topics that affect us all, such as UFOs, ghosts, and everything paranormal. Let's learn together on Spaced Out Radio Sunday with myself, Michael W. Hall, the paranormal lawyer at spacedoutradio.com. Are you intrigued by Paranormal Talk Radio? You'll love the new Paranormal Radio app from TalkStream Live. You'll find a great selection of talk shows covering UFOs, ghosts, strange phenomena, and much more. Download the Paranormal Radio app now and start listening to the very best in Paranormal Talk entertainment, including the network you're listening to right now. The Paranormal Radio app, free in Google Play and the iOS App Store. Hello, space travelers. It's me again, Carl. Don't forget to join the Space Travelers Club for just five bucks a month. And follow Spaced Out Radio on Twitter at Spaced Out Radio. Our Instagram, Dave Scott SOR. Our Facebook page is Spaced Out Radio Show. Our archives are free at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. Come woo it up with Spaced Out Radio today. Bye. Hey, space travelers, this is John Resig, founder of the Chive and Chive Charities. If you know anything about our website, you'd know we like to do things a little differently. We're not some faceless organization collecting money for a nebulous cause. Our donor dollars go directly toward life-improving items. Then we give those items directly to an underdog who needs it most. To become a donor with Spaced Out Radio's official charity, Chive Charities, just go to chivecharities.org forward slash donate. We all know on Spaced Out Radio we love a good beard and mustache, so why not take care of your facial hair with Mighty Moose Beard Oil? Made in Canada, we're taking care of beards and stashes around the world. We use 100% natural ingredients with our oils and balms to make your whiskers feel silky smooth. Use promo code SOR2019 at MightyMooseBeard.com today. Hey everyone, I'm John Edwards. And I'm Stacy Edwards. Together we're taking over Saturday nights on Spaced Out Radio where we're going to bring our own experiences of the paranormal and talk to the best people we can find to help bring you answers to your strange tales. We're here to entertain your need for weekend. Woo! So tune us in at spacedoutradio.com starting at 9.06 Pacific, 12.06 a.m. Eastern where we can all get a little spooky together. Spaced Out Saturday nights right here at spacedoutradio.com. Get your horns up with me on Spaced Out Radio. This is Ron Bumblefoot Thaw. Come tune in to SOR where you can hear me rock out with Little Brother is Watching, the official theme song of Spaced Out Radio. And then come on over to Bumblefoot.com where you can find out about my tour schedule, my music, and everything else. Bumblefoot.com keeps you up to date on what I'm doing and the best way to stay in touch with my music and music camps. Sign up for my newsletter at Bumblefoot.com and remember, Little Brother is Watching. The party is always on at the Moose Vancouver. The Moose Vancouver is where you want to be when visiting Canada's west coast. Open until 2 a.m. nightly, the Moose cranks up the rock while serving some of the best-rated food in the city. The menu starts at $6.95. Why party anywhere else in Vancouver when the Moose is right there? Get your horns up and rock with the Moose, the official party bar of Spaced Out Radio. For the price of one cup of coffee a month, you can become an SOR Space Traveler. The Space Travelers Club is a place where you can interact with other listeners, either live during the show or on our great forum. We want your stories, pictures, comments, and ideas. You'll get live video streams, exclusive content, and be a part of our newsletter. Stay in touch with everything SOR. The Space Travelers Club is just 5 bucks a month at spacedoutradio.com. I'm feeling a little spicy tonight. 
What to do, what to do. Why not get Bumblefoot? Four million Scoville units of pure hard rock. Bumblefoot hot sauces come in three flavors. The burning bumble f- Tone it down a bit with Bumblelicious and throw the sauce on everything. Spice it up. Bumble me, baby. Bumblefoot hot sauce. Get it today at kajans.com. You're listening to Spaced Out Radio with Dave Scott. Follow Dave on Twitter at Spaced Out Radio and on Facebook Spaced Out Radio Show. Hour number two of Spaced Out Radio is underway tonight. I am your host, Dave Scott. Thank you so much for being with us. We say hello to everyone listening in on our terrestrial affiliates across North America and on the digital side on TalkStream Live and Revolution Radio. Remember, you can check out all of our archives for free by going to youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. Just do me the favor, hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, follow us on Twitter at Spaced Out Radio for the show and my personal handle at Dave Scott SOR. The Desert Clam has set the password for tonight in the SOR Space Travelers Club. Philomelian. Philomelian is your password. Use it wisely, Space Travelers, as the Clam sets the password each and every night right here on Spaced Out Radio. Our website is spacedoutradio.com, where we have a plethora of features for you, including rocking out to Bumblefoot and reading up on Captain Shirk's SOR Newswire. So stay tuned on that. we got a lot more features as well. Tonight we have Vancouver, British Columbia paranormal investigator Bill Hauser. He specializes in ghost box. Yeah, so what's that? That's where we try and communicate with spirits on the other side through like a radio stream. I guess that's the way you would put it. And Bill has been doing this for 10 years now. 10 years he's been focusing in on this and has had some amazing evidence. So we, we bring him in every couple of months to play some games with us around here to try and get things going. Bill, welcome back. Thanks, Dave. All right. So right before the break, we were talking about G-Girl in our YouTube chat room, mm-hmm. and she was asking about her cousin Alex, who passed away a couple of years ago, and... We're going to read off the responses now. I didn't get too much, I'll be honest with you. Right off the bat, I got, I have it. Then I had to wait a while before I got, you asked a question about, you know, what's it, what's it uh, like on the other side or something along those lines. And this real clear came, everything, man, just came right through. And then the right to go here or the right to go home. I got as well. Now, let's go over to our YouTube chat where April got, here we go, happy, happy, DD, doing good, yes, happy, don't get caught, Adam, thank you, the the A, 80s, and then look, checks, interrupt, hello there, what do you want, do not trust, frustrated, what do you see, Matt, Gene, likely, see Adam, and dangerous. So that's what she got. All right. And Renee got Alex Kennedy. Listen to me. Hey, girl. I am. Yeah. Can try. Jeannie. I am not going to put up with it. I have a right to go home. You take that. Next. I do. Nothing. Shanna got a Kennedy. Yuba. MTV. Hey, you are. I told you. 743. Everything, man. So she got what I got. Made it. The right to go home. The cornerstone callbacks the other renee got damn it yeah bub noise let me identity candace you bet does boy you what it don't tell her diana jethro jet fabia tell me up to me tracy alien burglar right to know hi we want some greco got yelp flowers baby kiss i gotta leave you bet bird and bird again Hello, repeat, tell her, I'm here, everything, the right to go home, we warned him. So that is kind of cool. And Moonstone got, I feel the love, something new, tell me something, uplifting, and Cornerstone. And let's check the other rooms here. Let's check the other rooms here, shall we? And I'm just scrolling through, because... On my end, I've got a bunch I've got to go through. 
a bunch I need to go through. So you got to bear with me. You got to just bear with me here. Rahonda got Do You See Me? Kind of deep. Welcome. Idiopathic. You want? Don't be tempted. Hello. Had enough? Think? Help me. Tell me. Everything. Made it. Dee Dee. The right to go. Go back. Don't come. So a lot of cool, interesting readings off of that one. And check the final chat room here. And Nikki got, oh, here we go. This is this is Nikki's uh, mile-long list here. Every day, hello, get up, or get it up. Your flowers, hours of flowers, we are pretty. Why aren't? Hi, sweetie, moving up here. Hi, Kennedy. What? We are. Cannon, welcome, stop, tried, tunes it, yesterday, mad, mass, jiggy, ohms, oh boy, you want, we are. He told me to tell you. Get up, we know. Welcome back. We don't for or we won't forever towards the light. Do it. Everything now, double everything. Maintenance 80. We are one. Go get it at the right to go home. Poncho, wait, waterstone. Use be that. She's up. Atlantis. How many, Brad? And finally, or we got a couple more here, pardon me. Corey got yep, yes, I do. Yes, I am. I like beef shadows. She should try. Hold on. Don't. I'm bleeding. Everything now. I made it. Dave, you have the right to. New orders. So, and Sandra gets the final one. I don't think. Not really. A Kennedy. Forget about it. Don't even tempt me. I believe you staying alive. Everything now. The right to go home. We worry. Still financial spirit. So lots there, man. Lots there on that one. And I hope that helps G-Girl out. I really do. Let's move on to April. And April is asking, Bill, are there spirits in my studio or house, and what is their purpose? So we got to go to her studio on Vancouver Island, or her house on Vancouver Island, and we have to try and find out whether or not it's haunted, and who is haunting the place? Okay. Hello? I have April on the other side here. She wants to get a hold of the spirits that are haunting her studio on Vancouver Island. What spirits are around her home and her studio? Are you friend or foe? What's your purpose for hanging around April's home? Travel through that area all the time and stop at April's home? Spirits? Can you tell me? What is your name? You have a name. The spirits that occupy April's home. You have a name. What kind of a message do you have? Uh, 
I want to know, do you come in peace? Are you having good intentions hanging around April's home? Any other message for me right now? Spirits? Do you have any other messages? the house. Do you hang out in the studio? At April's place? something in particular you want to tell April. Are you spirits from the past? Bound to the land where April's home is? Those fields. Fields? You hang out in her backyard? You occupy her area? Indoors and outdoors? Okay, I thank you for communicating. Goodbye. Well, that was interesting. That one was interesting. I got, right, when you were speaking on your first question, it, this voice came through that says, who wants to? And then, hey, you, it's amazing. And then one called her, uh, said it was a friend. When you said, uh, are you friends? And then I heard the word friend. And then right after that, a female voice said, which? And then those fields, I don't know if she has property in the back or in the front. I do not know. And I got, what does she expect? Well, of course, April likes a good haunting, I'm going to assume. Let's see what everybody else got. Renee got, really? Guess, foe, haunt, visit, do nothing. Yes, out of the flower. Oh, spectacular. Peace, 
Who, me? E.T.? We want you. I'm dead. Lovely place, April. I am. I'm stalking her. Killed. Music. April got... Question. Hope is. The kettle. Music. Definitely. Those fields. What's next time? I, yeah. Let's see what else we got. Greco got Mexico. Achieve. Anything. Trap. Speaks. Don't know. She needs me. See. Never. E.T. Phone home. The bedroom. In bed. I see. Watch. Over. Stop it. That's correct. Calvin. Music. I heal. Aura. Renee got, hey, you, stupid, weak, friendly people. Next one, Biff, good-looking, cheap shot, stop, and I'll, the house, numbers can do, you, or yo, please. That was me, possess me, as the world, Mandela, rain, mom, old Navy, who's feeling, David. And let's see what else we got here. All right. Corinth got thank you, foe, sexter, pester, little bugger, candy, yes, come hither. Don't expect that. There it is. Okay. Help. Anything, Arnold? Give me some. He's a dumb cough. Yes, he is. I'm dead. Seller. Right now. Ah, uh, yes. Putting up. Now mixing. Kelp. Music. Corinth. Milk. Those feelings. I will next time. Nikki and her mile-long chart for April. Spirits in her studio in her house. Got Steve, me, dang it, we, we aren't it. Yeah, you, mix it, wheeze up. Friends, foe, Spanish, next girly, bad ohms. Best, ba or best, best guest, halves up. Weasley, he said, excuse me. It's good, Dave, we beat you. Snowball, alms, we have it. Yogi, stroke it. Crank it. Whoopsie, it's tight. I want back pieces. We uh, have it. Me, we have it. Have it again. We did it. We are duping. Classic. Henri has a GoPro. Here's a can it. Have it. All better. Yes, stand it. Stay it. Karma. Can it. Do it. Don't. Who's there? Uh, Mike. Don't stop. That's a fa fashioning. We are. Can it. Lots of cannets in this one. What are we canning here? That's what I want to know. What are we canning? Maybe some stewed tomatoes or something. I don't know. And then we'll continue on. Don't maybe down the widget. Kelp. Ooh, we step back. We are back. That's right. Spirits now. Ocean. Those fields. Spirits are all here. We can go back. Can't go back. Pardon me. We's up. We's uh, wells, I think. And basting it. And I think... Let me just check here again. And let's go. And let's see here. I think that is it. Let's check Twitter because we got to look for Rohanda here. Nope, nothing from Rohanda. I think we're good on this one, Bill. I think we're good on this one. And we've only got about three and a half minutes here before we got to go to break at the bottom of the hour. I don't know if we will get to another one or whether we should even start one, considering um, we are going to, you know, have to be cutting it short on that one. But Yeah, it's a bit you know, tight there. It is. But for people who are tuning in and wondering what the heck is all this noise, we are doing live ghost box sessions with Billis. We are trying to communicate with the other side. So don't touch the dial if you're listening on our terrestrial affiliates. That sound is perfectly normal as we try to connect with those who are deceased. And maybe they want to communicate. If you're in one of our chat rooms and you want us to try and communicate with someone, make sure you put in capital letters and I will try my best to try and get things out. And you know, Mr. Man, Mr. on our YouTube chat, we will try and get, or we will be going to your question next, if you don't mind, because we got a bunch kind of lined up here. Bill, you know, once again, you know, a lot of people ask about this. Can you contact dead animals? Can you contact cryptids like Bigfoot or Dogman or aliens or, or something strange and weird? I know with Carl, the alien, we've we've had a little bit of success there. But outside of that, you know, 
do you like doing that stuff? Do you like trying it out? Is it even effective? Well, it's interesting to do. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, it would be harder with stuff like Sasquatch or Bigfoot, uh, I would have to say, yeah. But, however, uh, you know, aliens, well, that's fun. But, I mean, at the same time, you do get some pretty weird voices coming through, uh, robotic sounds. And, you know, to me, it sounds very uh, tinny-type sounds to it as well. Do you think, though, that everything is on this same kind of wavelength where they can try and communicate? Oh, yeah. If uh, we're communicating with uh, what we believe is ghosts on the other side, I mean, aliens could easily do that. I mean, for them, they could go through any frequency, really, to be honest with you, as far as I'm concerned. I got you. I got you. As we got about a minute to go here, Bill, you know, you, you post all this up. So for people who don't know, what you will do is after this show is done, you'll actually go down and break this this entire two and a half hours that you'll be on with us. You'll you'll break it down to see what you pick up, won't you? Yeah, I'll go through it. And, you know, if I see something really uh, stands out, uh, yeah, I'll make an audio file and post up. So, yeah, it's... Uh, interesting to do that at the same time because sometimes we at this at the time miss some stuff but uh yeah you do get some pretty uh you know already we've gotten some pretty uh like uh the last session for example got a really good standout voice well that's awesome man that's awesome and hey while we're here plug your youtube channel so that way people can learn some more Yep, go to William Hauser on YouTube. That's my new channel. And you can still go to the old channel. It's uh, with uh, Can Dewey as well. So, yeah, you got uh, two. It's like a new chapter that I'm uh, presenting out there uh, for YouTube videos and so on. So it'll be me going out and having a little adventure. Uh, lately, it's been in the car because of the uh, the COVID-19 yes. situation. But, uh, you know, eventually I'll be able to get out into some more uh, populated areas, shall we say, once uh, things open up again. Absolutely. Bill Hauser's live Ghost Box sessions continue on Spaced Out Radio right after this. supernatural fix look no further than spaced out saturday right here at spacedoutradio.com i'm stacy edwards and i'm john edwards each saturday night stacy and i are going to bring you the best in paranormal cryptids ufos you name it and we're going there it's all about the experience and to share the knowledge with all of you so tune us in every saturday night on spaced out saturdays starting at 906 p.m pacific 1206 a.m eastern only at spacedoutradio.com You wanted new SOR gear, and now you can have it. The SOR Vault is fully stocked with t-shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, and everything in between with great logos for you to choose from. So head on over to spacedoutradio.com, click on the SOR Vault, and go shopping. Pricing is quite affordable, and you can look good representing your favorite show. So go to our website and pick up your new SOR wear at the SOR Vault today. At spacedoutradio.com, we are keeping you up to date on all the news with the SOR Newswire. Captain Shirk leads the team that is bringing you the news of the day and exclusive stories on everything paranormal and supernatural. It's free to read, it's updated daily, and it's right there for you. The SOR Newswire is a one-stop shop for the news of the day. Check it out at spacedoutradio.com today. Hey, space travelers, this is John Resig, founder of the Chive and Chive Charities. If you know anything about our website, you'd know we like to do things a little differently. We're not some faceless organization collecting money for a nebulous cause. Our donor dollars go directly toward life-improving items. Then we give those items directly to an underdog who needs it most. To become a donor with Spaced Out Radio's official charity, Chive Charities, just go to chivecharities.org forward slash donate. 
cold drinks, great food, and the best music in Vancouver. The Moose Vancouver is the place to be, open until 2 a.m. nightly. Everything on the menu starts at just $6.95. Who serves food that cheap anymore? At the Moose, you'll never know who you'll run into. Rock stars, actors, athletes, it's the place everyone wants to be. So join us at the Moose Vancouver, the Moose Vancouver, the official party bar of Spaced Out Radio. Hello, space travelers. It's me again, Carl. Don't forget to join the Space Travelers Club for just five bucks a month. And follow Spaced Out Radio on Twitter at Spaced Out Radio. Our Instagram, Dave Scott SOR. Our Facebook page is Spaced Out Radio Show. Our archives are free at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. Come woo it up with Spaced Out Radio today. Bye! We're adding to the entertainment online for Spaced Out Radio. I'm Amber Beckard, and I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out Cryptid Tales, where I will take you on a journey into some of the strangest legends and lore from around the world, relaying the stories to you of the strange creatures and experiences that people have had throughout time. You can find Cryptid Tales at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. And while you're there, don't forget to check out our free archives and leave a comment. See you there. Hello, this is your guitar man, Ron Bumblefoot Thaw, and I have to tell you, I love the response I get for Little Brother is Watching from Spaced Out Radio fans. It's amazing how music can inspire and make people think deeper about what's going on in the supernatural world. You can head over to my website, bumblefoot.com, to check out my music, my guitar workshops, my touring, even check out some of the hot sauces that I'm working on. And make sure you keep on listening, because with Spaced Out Radio, you know Little Brother is Watching. Hey everybody, the SOR Space Travelers is open. For just five bucks a month, you can hang out with Dave and our crew privately in our members-only section. With your signing, you'll receive newsletters on what's going on with Spaced Out Radio. You'll have direct contact with the host during the show in our chat, live streaming videos, and a great forum for your posts and more. Become a space traveler now at spacedoutradio.com. From the heartlands of Canada to beards around the world, we know how to take care of you. Fill your follicles with the Mighty Moose Beard Oil. All our oils and balms are handmade and 100% natural ingredients because we care about your beard. And hey, use the promo code SOR2019 and get your Mighty Moose Beard Oil today. You can check us out on our website, MightyMooseBeard.com. We're taking Sunday nights out of this world on Spaced Out Radio. This is Michael W. Hall, also known as the Paranormal Lawyer. Together, we're going to go on an exciting journey into the unknown. I'm going to bring you some of the best interviews in the paranormal and supernatural to start your new week off on a freaky note. So tune in to Spaced Out Sundays with me, Michael W. Hall, only on SpacedOutRadio.com. Are you looking for great advertising value for your company? Look no further than Spaced Out Radio. We have a multitude of places to get your name out there, including commercial ads during the show, special promotions, and banners on our website. Our audience is proven to support the companies that support our show. We can make your budget work for you. For more information, please contact us at sales at spacedoutradio.com. If you like it hot, real hot then heat up your meals with bumblefoot hot sauce get your bumblefoot hot sauce today the sauce bumblelicious and the four million scoville unit bumble we're going in hot real hot coming out even hotter keep the milk nearby and tantalize your taste buds tonight bumblefoot hot sauce available now at kajans.com We pass the halfway point of Spaced Out Radio tonight. I am your host, Dave Scott, sitting in the captain's chair of SOR headquarters. My beard is growing just fine, in case you were wondering. 
Thanks to my Mighty Moose beard oil that I have. Absolutely love the stuff. Thank you, Gary. Appreciate that. Now, I want to remind all of you that if you've missed portions of this show or others, you can check out our free archives at youtube.com forward slash spaced out radio. Just do old Davey the favor. Hit that subscribe button. Our website is spacedoutradio.com, where we have a plethora of features for you, including rocking out to Bumblefoot and reading up on Captain Shirk's SOR Newswire. Hey, hit us up on Twitter at Spaced Out Radio for the show and my personal handle at Dave Scott SOR. We got Bill Hauser here. From Vancouver, British Columbia, he's a longtime paranormal investigator. For the last decade, he has been focusing on using spirit communication through what he calls a ghost box. Now, if you're just tuning in and you're one of our terrestrial affiliates and you start hearing all these strange sounds, don't cut the dial because that's the way it is supposed to sound as we try and communicate with the ghosts on the other side. Now, Bill, welcome back. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, thank you, Dave, for having me tonight. No problem. We're going to start off here with one of our YouTube chatters called Mr. Man Mister. All right? I don't know his real name. We'll just call yeah. him Mr. Man. Mr. And Man. he is he is looking to get a hold of his friend Walter, who passed away last year. He wants to make sure Walter is doing okay. Okay. Hello, I am Mr. Man, listening in, he wants to get a hold of his friend, Walter. Walter, are you there? a message for your friend? Are you doing okay on your side? Walter? Your friend wants to know if you're doing good. You're okay, eh? What would you like to tell your friend, Walter? Your friend, Mr. Man. Doing good? Yes, please. What's it like on the other side? Can you describe that to me? I hear it's really beautiful over there. like to tell your friend there, Walter? 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 
You have yep. something in particular you got to tell us? Or just be a friend. Good, Walter. I know I keep bugging you that, but I just want confirmation. You see a friend right now, Walter? You see him? really interested in hearing your voice. Okay, well, we thank you for communicating. I got now. Goodbye. Okay. Right at the end. I had to laugh right at the end. It, you know, when you were saying, okay, we're going to say goodnight. And there's this voice, well done. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah, when stuff funny. like that happens. Yeah, All I get right. a lot of those little uh, comments, that's for sure. I think that's funny. Bill Hauser and live Ghost Box sessions here on Spaced Out Radio tonight. I got right off the bat, I got hello. And then I got the name Fred, and then Garlic, then something was on file, and it was delightful. And then when you ask, hey, are you doing okay on the other side? I got, yes, I'm good. So that was kind of cool. Yeah. That was kind of cool. Shanna got Johnny, hear it, good night, thank you, all things, yes, stay, kiss me, I missed you, the other one, your comfort, I got no. All right. And no, Ron, I'm not going to FedEx you about 30 Taco Time tacos to Nova Scotia because there is no tacos in my town, man. Don't rub it in on Taco Tuesday. All right? Don't rub it in. All right? There is no tacos in my town. Barely get a good donair around here, let alone tacos. All right, moving on. Renee got hello. Hey, Ed, hello. Here, I'm okay. Told you I would. Said I would tell you I'm all right. I'm still here. Peaceful. Be safe. I do your comfort. Bye. April got Walter. Oh, this is from Walter. Thank you. Fabulous. Things all good. Thank you. If you want, hello. Yeah, you. You know, um, so long. Missed you. I'm busy. Steve gone under. I know the keys. It's in the system. Your cousin. Well, that's kind of cool. And Greco got Shining, please, one, I miss you, exited. I'm still with you, it is heaven, celestial, that I miss. I'm dead, I'm excited, things I know, I know the meanings. It's the system, 80s, well done. Oh, if, if he's talking steak, that he likes his steak, well done. Oh, oh, poor guy, poor guy. <laughs> Nikki got a little... Uh, what's that drama? Nerdy, you can't. Here's the oh, nasty, flirty, go back, sorry, ignite, Walter, saddening, moons, thinking, Canadian, high, up. It's all about perspective. Who that? Said he, Slavic, bong it. We're going high. We are, aren't we? Falling. I'm still this one. Hello. Double, isn't it fighting? Uh, kismet, why? Having things, love songs, have it, we think, we have to, get, dang it, we sure, we staying in the room, boom, she, music, free us, we are the one, have it, we are, spirits, having us, sigh or sign, having, bang it, have it, bang it, that might be a song there, I don't know, and I know it, bang tempo, or bango temp, check, we up, we see, mine, he's going up, thank you so much, we'll... 
Well, damn. Hold it up one. Well done. Goodbye. And let's see what else we may have here. Rahonda got nerd, good night, opportunity, all I have, kismet, uh, gang up, lady blue, music, I'm Saul, I am your custom, 80s told you, well done. Excellent, excellent. Let's see what else we got around here. And I think we may be good. Let's see. I'm just doing a final check here, making sure I haven't missed anybody. And I think we're good on that one, man. I think we're good on that one. Generally a lot of positive there, I noticed. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, All right. So I don't know if you have seen the YouTube series Hellier. It's a fantastic paranormal series. And one of the characters they believe may be dead. His name, he, he, his code name was Terry Wrist. Now, Shanna, who is a big Hellier fan, big John Tenney fan, uh, you know, she actually, when she goes to conferences, she wears a, a, a mustache and beard, much like Greg Newkirk, just so that way she can match up and get Greg to autograph his beard, you know. I know. I'm, I'm just bugging her. I'm just bugging her right now. But, um, you know, she's a huge fan of what they have done. And she is wondering if Terry Wrist is out there in spirit land, can he come say hello? Wow. That's a really good question. I know that you have done interviews with uh, some of these people from that. Uh, oh, yeah. YouTube uh, TV show, shall we say? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So Terry Wrist, eh? Terry Wrist. Let's see if we can try to make contact with them. No, I want to try to get a hold of. Terry Wrist. Is Terry Wrist there? Who's seen Terry Wrist? Does Terry Wrist exist? Terry Wrist, do you want to communicate with me? Are you willing to talk to me, Terry Wrist? What would you like to say, Terry? What's on your mind, Terry? You have something of importance to tell us. I'm on a radio show. Would you like to give a message to the audience? It's your opportunity. What would you like to say? Do you truly exist, Terry Risk?
Who's seen Terry Rich? You have something important to tell the audience, Terry. It's your opportunity. I have a lot of people listening in. What would you like to say, Terry? Hey, Bill, can you ask if he's actually passed? Okay. Terry, Rick, are you passed over? Terry Rist, have you passed over? Does anybody know, has Terry Rist passed over to the other side? Who knows if Terry Rist has passed over? Who's got information on that? Would like to help. Who knows if Terry Rist has passed over? Who's got a message about Terry? You have something final you want to say? Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Another goodbye right at the end. That was kind of cool. They're right on cue. All right, right off the bat, I got who is. And then when you asked, has anybody seen Terry Rist? I got, there was a voice that said, I have, and then plead, and then England. And then you ask again, anybody know where Terry Rist is? And there were the words we have came out. And then as soon as we have came out, another male voice came out and said, who's that? And then another voice followed that up by saying he left. And then when you asked, uh, is Terry Riss dead? There were two different voices that said no and then no. Mm-hmm. That's what I got. Very interesting. All right. So Chris got, wait, I have now. Sorority, don't know it. Uh, no. What is it sitting on? Follow me. I don't. Can you eat? Spirit, so many. Equal fish. You are not alone. Hello. Oh, my. No. Is good love. That's all. April got relax. You is. Terry Rist. What's up? Don't kidding. Home. It's a signal now. The video. G's. A chapy on me. England. Equal. Oh, poor. Student. Guess. Hear that? Hello? No. Hold on. Maybe. I do. Yes, and he. All right. And then Shanna got, um, oh, pardon me, Chris to follow up, got, my soul is looking on him, music, watch you meet my other people, it is. Shanna got, we, where are, 
who risked talking, maybe, and if it was signals, I know, yeah, I should know you a bit, get well, I do connect this time, sleep well, peace, he left, no, he's gone. Renee got what's up, who's that? He does, yes, Terry Wrist is synchronism, not much, England, be cool, I do you, no, he is not yet, I don't. Follow up from April, she also got garçon, a pet petit, we oui, garçon. And let's see here. What else do we got? And let's go to the other chat room. And Nikki, boom, boom, see you there. I'm waiting. Yes, who it? Beep, beep. We are. I do see. We are. You are the one. Pull the cover. We always signing. We help. We's up. Not here. We's up. Interesting. Down sugar. Having it up. Screaming and then no, it have, it is what, dipstick having it, no, how much, can't you see it yet, have you? And then England birds have it, I don't mean it, acorn sucks, born it. Uh, well, I see him, see it, got it, sheer. And what else we got here? We got Chris, fat cat, hey, whoa, no he hasn't, we haven't had that yet, he's up, getting him now, we do, freaking do we? He's passed on. He's a soul now. Can't do it. Found a boutique. We got him. Back now. Extreme. All I do. He wants you. Meet my eyes. He is here. Excuse me. It's people time. Our time screen. We do it. He sure do. Goodbye. <sighs> got it out. Bill Hauser will be with us for another 30 minutes on Spaced Out Radio. Now, I do know that due to YouTube's jumping this jumpiness, I should say, in the chat room. I'm going to have to make some uh, new questions up, or you guys will have to make some new questions up. I should get Rhonda's answers in there, too. Who is? I'm in heaven. Free call. Better not. Dirt. Hey, no, you did. More live ghost box sessions with Bill Hauser for another 30 minutes of Hour 3. Then we get to the Newswire. And the thought of the day. Stay tuned. More Spaced Out Radio coming up right after this. Hello, everyone. This is Ryan Stacy from the Experiencer Support Association, otherwise known as TESA. We're glad to team up with Spaced Out Radio to help investigate your experiences on the SOR Sightlines Report. Together, we'll investigate the strange sightings and occurrences you've had. We're looking for answers just like you. So fill out a Sightlines Report on the Spaced Out Radio website and let's figure out what's going on together. For the price of one cup of coffee a month, you can become an SOR Space Traveler. The Space Travelers Club is a place where you can interact with other listeners, either live during the show or on our great forum. We want your stories, pictures, comments, and ideas. You'll get live video streams, exclusive content, and be a part of our newsletter. Stay in touch with everything SOR. The Space Travelers Club is just 5 bucks a month at spacedoutradio.com. Space Travelers, it's me again, Carl. Don't forget to join the Space Travelers Club for just five bucks a month and follow Spaced Out Radio on Twitter at Spaced Out Radio. Our Instagram, Dave Scott SOR. Our Facebook page is Spaced Out Radio Show. Our archives are free at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. Come woo it up with Spaced Out Radio today. Bye! We all know on Spaced Out Radio we love a good beard and mustache, so why not take care of your facial hair with Mighty Moose Beard Oil? Made in Canada, we're taking care of beards and stashes around the world. We use 100% natural ingredients with our oils and balms to make your whiskers feel silky smooth. Use promo code SOR2019 at MightyMooseBeard.com today. The SOR Vault is open for business, and do we have some cool swag for you to pick up? All you have to do is head over to our website and click on the SOR Vault. 
You have a variety of cool logos to choose from and put them on anything you want. T-shirts, hoodies, hats, coffee mugs, you name it, we can get it to you. So do your shopping by supporting the store you love. Get your Spaced Out Radio swag at the SOR Vault today. Hey, space travelers, this is John Resig, founder of the Chive and Chive Charities. If you know anything about our website, you know we like to do things a little differently. We're not some faceless organization collecting money for a nebulous cause. Our donor dollars go directly toward life-improving items. Then we give those items directly to an underdog who needs it most. To become a donor with Spaced Out Radio's official charity, Chive Charities, just go to chivecharities.org forward slash donate. So, you love talk radio, then you'll love TalkStreamLive.com. TalkStream Live is always on, 24-7, with the best streaming talk shows. Find your favorite talkers and discover some new ones. It's free, readily available online, or on mobile with any smartphone or tablet. Finding your favorite talk shows all in one place has gotten a whole lot easier. Just go to TalkStreamLive.com. Be sure to download the free apps from Google Play or the iTunes App Store. Hey everyone, I'm John Edwards. And I'm Stacy Edwards. Together we're taking over Saturday nights on Spaced Out Radio where we're going to bring our own experiences of the paranormal and talk to the best people we can find to help bring you answers to your strange tales. We're here to entertain your need for weekend. Woo! So tune us in at spacedoutradio.com starting at 9.06 Pacific, 12.06 a.m. Eastern where we can all get a little spooky together. Spaced Out Saturday nights right here at spacedoutradio.com. Hi there, this is the paranormal lawyer, Michael W. Hall. I'd like to invite you to listen in each Sunday night where we're going to open up your eyes to everything strange and paranormal. I will be hosting some great guests with topics that affect us all, such as UFOs, ghosts, and everything paranormal. Let's learn together on Spaced Out Radio Sunday with myself, Michael W. Hall, the paranormal lawyer at spacedoutradio.com. I'm feeling a little spicy tonight. What to do? What to do? Why not get Bumblefoot? Four million Scoville units of pure hard rock. Bumblefoot hot sauce has come in three flavors. The burning bumble. F- Tone it down a bit with Bumblelicious and throw the sauce on everything. Spice it up. Bumble me, baby. Bumblefoot hot sauce. Get it today at kajans.com. We're adding to the entertainment online for Spaced Out Radio. I'm Amber Beckard, and I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out Cryptid Tales, where I will take you on a journey into some of the strangest legends and lore from around the world, relaying the stories to you of the strange creatures and experiences that people have had throughout time. You can find Cryptid Tales at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. And while you're there, don't forget to check out our free archives and leave a comment. See you there. The party is always on at the Moose Vancouver. The Moose Vancouver is where you want to be when visiting Canada's west coast. Open until 2 a.m. nightly, the Moose cranks up the rock while serving some of the best rated food in the city. The menu starts at $6.95. Why party anywhere else in Vancouver when the Moose is right there? Get your horns up and rock with the Moose, the official party bar of Spaced Out Radio. Looking for creative ways to get your company out in the public? How about advertising on Spaced Out Radio? Our sales department is waiting to hear from you, and we can work around any budget. From commercial spots to banners to special promotions, there are many opportunities to get your name and product out to our SOR listeners. For a price guide and more information, please contact us at sales at spacedoutradio.com. Hello, this is your guitar man, Ron Bumblefoot Thaw, and I have to tell you, I love the response I get for Little Brother is Watching from Spaced Out Radio fans. It's amazing how music can inspire and make people think deeper about what's going on in the supernatural world. You can head over to my website, bumblefoot.com, to check out my music, my guitar workshops, my touring, even check out some of the hot sauces that I'm working on. And make sure you keep on listening, because with Spaced Out Radio, you know Little Brother is Watching. We are scouring the world for the most intriguing stories of your day. Take the time to read up on the SOR Newswire, where our team, led by Captain Shirk, 
will deliver to you some of the best paranormal and supernatural news, along with some stories that will blow your mind from the weird to the wacky. It's the news outside the news that piques interest, and that's what we're looking to deliver to you. The SOR Newswire, only at spacedoutradio.com. Would you like to connect with us? Head to spacedoutradio.com for all your latest show info. Now, back to Dave Scott and SOR. We're kicking off the third and final hour of Spaced Out Radio tonight. I am your host, Dave Scott. Thank you so much for joining us. Always a pleasure to have you here live with us as we love breaking on the paranormal, breaking it on down for you. We want to say hello to everybody listening in on our terrestrial affiliates across North America and on the digital side on TalkStream Live and Revolution Radio. Remember, you can check out all of our archives for free by going to youtube.com forward slash spaced out radio. Just do me the favor and hit that subscribe button. The Desert Clam has set the password for tonight in the SOR Space Travelers Club. Philomelian. Philomelian is your password. Use it wisely, Space Travelers, as the Clam sets the password each and every night right here on Spaced Out Radio. Our website is spacedoutradio.com, where we have a plethora of features for you, including rocking out to Bumblefoot and reading up on Captain Shirk's SOR Newswire, and so much more. Tonight, for the final time, we introduce Bill Hauser. Bill lives in Vancouver, British Columbia. He is a longtime paranormal investigator, and for the last decade, he has been focusing his efforts on using the ghost box. So if you're just tuning in, don't adjust your radio. It's going to sound really, really weird as we try and get some voices across the ghost box that Bill will be asking questions to, and we're going to have some fun with that. We're going to have some fun with that. We're going to start off, Bill, as we welcome you back. Hello. Yes, Dave. Yeah, it's great to be back. We're going to start off on Twitter with Matthew. And he says his father passed away before he was 19 years old. He didn't give a name of his dad, but uh, he's wondering what he thinks of his son, Matt. Okay. Hello. I have Matthew, who's listening in. He wants to get a hold of his father. Matthew's father. Do you have a message for Matthew? You have a message for Matthew. <laughs> Pardon me. Matthew's father. Your grandson is named Matt. Is there any thoughts on that? You must be very happy. Matthew would like a message from you. Okay. Matthew's dad. It would be very important to give a message to your son. You doing okay on that side? You happy? Matthew wants to know how you feel about 
naming his son Matt. Do you have any comments? You must be very proud. Anything you'd like to say to Matthew? Anything in final you'd like to say? Matthew's dad, the father of Matthew. Okay, well, thank you for communicating. Goodbye. All right, thank you so much for doing that. Appreciate yes. that. I got hi right off the bat, and then help alert, he doesn't. And then there's a question, Mark. I, I didn't make out the first part, and then I got are needed. And then six minutes. I don't know what that means. But mm -hmm. that's what old Davey got on that. His name is uh, Jack. So let's see if anybody Jack. picked up a Jack in here. All right. Let's go over to, to YouTube here. And let's see here. Um, just looking. All right. Chris got hi. Why? Because I can right now. Go sick. Participate. I might not. Jesse Mental Lawless. Hope that. Are needed. PearlHarbor.com. Versailles Music. Foot Policeman. Believe it. Deity. April got hi. Hockey. Cold Turkey. Go safe. Participate now. That's my kid. Good kid. Lisa confusing me. What? Proud grandfather. Hello. Done an example. You and me dot com Lisa. Renee got we got you. I do. He just knows. Excited. I'm proud. Be a good example. Excited. Are you excited? Female voice. Be good. Shanna got can you hear me? I do. You sick help. I mean it. Dad. Beers are needed. Tall. Bill an example. Six minutes. You dot com at Versailles. I want to. I believe it. Jesus. And let's see what else we got. Here, Greco got, I salute you, I salute you, jerk, cold, sick, a likeness, yes, beers are needed, example, explain you, Jack, me, other side, see ya. And let's see what Nikki got. Um, muscle down, hi, dad, mighty, be equalizing, we have got it, hey, ya. Uh, Bake it, do it, one drink, ups was mine, Slavic participating help. David, we got him, lurk, he's my kid, oh no, oh my. Hey Justin, momento, what's up, breeze is up, is needed, uh, which is to say what I got. And we want, see me, mortician, he's happy, way up, singing up, can't talk right now, jello, Bill, how are you, as an example, X minute, we soul up, Dot com coming how how on Shantae we are love how is it two foot visualize give it no don't believe it hey Mooney hi dad that's what we got there well, let's see here if we missed any else we're Honda an example six minutes I believe it and reason and let's see if we're missing any here I don't think we are don't think we are how much time we got? 
All right. I think we can squeeze in one more, and then we'll check in on Carl. And this next one comes from Moonstone, who's asking about a coworker named David. They're not sure how he passed away. It was just under weird circumstances. So they're uh, trying to figure that one out. Now, that one is not family, but it happened just over a month ago. Are you okay with that one, Bill? Yeah. Yeah, we can try to make contact with David, right? Yes. Okay. Hello? I have Moonstone here listening in. She wants to try to hear her co-worker, David. David? How are you doing? Are you doing okay? Are you at peace, David? now? You'd like to know. You have a message for her? David? a message for Moonstone? Your old co-worker? Message for her. Okay, thank you for communicating. Goodbye. All right, man. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. I, you know, it's funny is there, we've had such the opposite tonight, all night in the ghost box sessions, where we have had, for a lot of, 
people who were asking for male figures, we were getting a lot of female voices. And for female figures, we were getting a lot of male voices. It's kind of yeah. ironic how that worked. Yeah, very interesting. Kind of ironic. All right, let's uh, see what the audience got. I personally got David a few times in there. What's new? And come on in. And uh, let's see what everybody else got, shall we? All right, Jasper got, hello, at peace, something, and come. Where are you? Is that Corbin? Bless you. Yes, I do. Are things Athens? Help me out, Richie. Let's uh, let's see what else they say. Renee's got, hello, hello, Moonstone. Good. Yes, I'm good. Hey, David. Female voice. Yes, I've been sick. And let's see. Shanna got, that was weird. Female sigh. I think I'm right. Heaven's up, up on the other side. Grico got moon. Well, you, yes, I'm at peace. Better. It's good here. Yes, I, yes, I so am. Angel, what is it? Say it. Yes, get out. Enjoy fun. Don't give up. I wish I was with you. And let's see. Um, What else we got? We got to wait for... For Nikki, our our spiritual translator. We love her around here. She's probably typing out uh, about 785 words right now. So that's what we're waiting for. Uh, Let's see. Rahonda on Twitter at hashtag spaced out radio got. Fine. You mean it? Enjoy. Hang on. Yes, I couldn't sleep. So... Let's see. Where's Nikki supposed? Here it is. Not family, coworker. Helping up, coming up. We're beard. Um, I'm good. No bad. Having okay. Bad. I'm better. I'm David. Can am. It's mine. Yeah. Hogwash. David can come. What we doing? People. We do. Gets up. What we doing? Has it? Taco. David. Spook. Sure do. As in miss a, a message for her. I have one shirt. David. We're Going to go and something. And then Stone, okay, get out. Already, are we done already, Dad? Never, I've been sick. I've got out. Don't give up, Matt. Hey, I'll bet you betting is off. Don't go. Hey, look up. I see you, Rose and people. Oh, that was heavy. That was heavy. All right. See if I missed any here. And... I think we're good. We got like four minutes, man. We got like one minute to try and connect with Carl if you want. Carl the alien. Because oh, okay. we always got to do Carl. You know that. Hello. I want to get a hold of Carl. Carl, are you around Dave Scott's home right now? Who's singing Carl, the gray alien? Carl, do you have a message for Dave? What would you like to tell Dave, Carl?
It's very quiet all of a sudden, Carl. seen Carl all right Bill okay we gotta go Carl goodbye okay there we go all right I, you know for the first time in a while I got some stuff here really I got he- hello look up you go hey Carl hello again and your planet wow and uh, that would be very, very cool, even though I know he's far, far away. But that's what we do. That's what we do. Next time we got to ask if we could get the music again. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Remember? Yeah, when we got the Close Encounters music, that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Bill? I want to say thank you for coming on Spaced Out Radio again. Check out Bill's YouTube channel, William Hauser. Go check it on out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I know I will. So, Bill, thank you for coming on and doing this again, and we'll talk to you in July, my friend. Yes, definitely. You have a wonderful night. You too, my friend. It's always a pleasure to have you here, and uh, we'll do it again very, very soon. Make sure you go check out Bill's YouTube channel, William Hauser. So sign up for that, and you can find Bill all over social media, on Facebook especially. If you want your own reading, we can set that up for you as well. Coming up next on Spaced Out Radio, we take this thing home. As we bring in the SOR news, why are the thought of the day? Stay tuned. More SOR after this. Hello, this is your guitar man, Ron Bumblefoot Thaw, and I have to tell you, I love the response I get for Little Brother is Watching from Spaced Out Radio fans. It's amazing how music can inspire and make people think deeper about what's going on in the supernatural world. You can head over to my website, bumblefoot.com, to check out my music, my guitar workshops, my touring, even check out some of the hot sauces that I'm working on. And make sure you keep on listening, because with Spaced Out Radio, you know Little Brother is Watching. Hey, Spaced Out Radio fans, it's John Rezig, founder of the Chive and Chive Charities. Our goal is to make the life of veterans, first responders, and those with rare medical conditions 10% happier. We do this by donating one grant item, ranging from dance to therapy programs to prosthetic limbs, to those who need it most. To contribute to Spaced Out Radio's official charity, head over to chivecharities.org and become a donor today. If you like it hot, real hot, then heat up your meals with Bumblefoot Hot Sauce. Get your Bumblefoot Hot Sauce today. The sauce, Bumblelicious, and the 4 million Scoville unit, Bumble, we're going in hot, real hot, coming out even hotter. Keep the milk nearby. And tantalize your taste buds tonight. Bumblefoot Hot Sauce, available now at kajans.com. Hello, space travelers. It's me again, Carl. Don't forget to join the Space Travelers Club for just five bucks a month. And follow Spaced Out Radio on Twitter, at Spaced Out Radio. Our Instagram, Dave Scott SOR. Our Facebook page is Spaced Out Radio Show. Our archives are free at YouTube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. Come woo it up with Spaced Out Radio today. Bye! Hey everybody, the SOR Space Travelers is open. For just five bucks a month, you can hang out with Dave and our crew privately in our members-only section. With your signing, you'll receive newsletters on what's going on with Spaced Out Radio. You'll have direct contact with the host during the show in our chat, live streaming videos, and a great forum for your posts and more. Become a space traveler now at spacedoutradio.com.
we're adding to the entertainment online for Spaced Out Radio. I'm Amber Beckrude, and I want to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out Cryptid Tales, where I will take you on a journey into some of the strangest legends and lore from around the world, relaying the stories to you of the strange creatures and experiences that people have had throughout time. You can find Cryptid Tales at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. And while you're there, don't forget to check out our free archives and leave a comment. See you there. Need that weekend supernatural fix? Look no further than Spaced Out Saturday right here at spacedoutradio.com. I'm Stacy Edwards. And I'm John Edwards. Each Saturday night, Stacy and I are going to bring you the best in paranormal, cryptids, UFOs, you name it, and we're going there. It's all about the experience and to share the knowledge with all of you. So tune us in every Saturday night on Spaced Out Saturdays starting at 9.06 p.m. Pacific, 12.06 a.m. Eastern, only at spacedoutradio.com. We all know on Spaced Out Radio we love a good beard and mustache, so why not take care of your facial hair with Mighty Moose Beard Oil? Made in Canada, we're taking care of beards and stashes around the world. We use 100% natural ingredients with our oils and balms to make your whiskers feel silky smooth. Use promo code SOR2019 at MightyMooseBeard.com today. Hi there, this is the Paranormal Lawyer, Michael W. Hall. I'd like to invite you to listen in each Sunday night where we're going to open up your eyes to everything strange and paranormal. I will be hosting some great guests with topics that affect us all, such as UFOs, ghosts, and everything paranormal. Let's learn together on Spaced Out Radio Sunday with myself, Michael W. Hall, the Paranormal Lawyer at spacedoutradio.com. At spacedoutradio.com, we are keeping you up to date on all the news with the SOR Newswire. Captain Shirk leads the team that is bringing you the news of the day and exclusive stories on everything paranormal and supernatural. It's free to read, it's updated daily, and it's right there for you. The SOR Newswire is a one-stop shop for the news of the day. Check it out at spacedoutradio.com today. You wanted new SOR gear, and now you can have it. The SOR Vault is fully stocked with t-shirts, hats, hoodies, mugs, and everything in between with great logos for you to choose from. So head on over to spacedoutradio.com, click on the SOR Vault, and go shopping. Pricing is quite affordable, and you can look good representing your favorite show. So go to our website and pick up your new SOR wear at the SOR Vault today. Cold drinks, great food, and the best music in Vancouver. The Moose Vancouver is the place to be, open until 2 a.m. nightly. Everything on the menu starts at just $6.95. Who serves food that cheap anymore? At the Moose, you'll never know who you'll run into. Rock stars, actors, athletes, it's the place everyone wants to be. So join us at the Moose Vancouver, the Moose Vancouver, the official party bar of Spaced Out Radio. Are you looking for great advertising value for your company? Look no further than Spaced Out Radio. We have a multitude of places to get your name out there, including commercial ads during the show, special promotions, and banners on our website. Our audience is proven to support the companies that support our show. We can make your budget work for you. For more information, please contact us at sales at spacedoutradio.com. We've rounded third. We're heading for home tonight on Spaced Out Radio. I am your host, Dave Scott, sitting in the captain's chair of SOR headquarters. I want to remind all of you that if you've missed most of this show or others, you can check out our free archives at youtube.com forward slash Spaced Out Radio. Just do me the favor, hit that subscribe button. Our website is spacedoutradio.com, where we have a plethora of features for you, including rocking out to Bumblefoot and reading up on Captain Shirk's SOR Newswire, plus a host of more features. Follow us on Twitter, at Spaced Out Radio for the show, and my personal handle, at Dave Scott, S-O-R. Speaking of the news... 
Oh, yeah. It's that time. Let's get to it. And this is how it ends. The news is always changing, which is why we bring you the SOR Newswire at the back end of every show where we get to the weird, the strange, the wacky, and sometimes the absolute silly. Hey, before we even start, for those of you, uh, and I don't normally do this, okay, I don't like advertising my stuff, but uh, I'm going to on this one. A good friend of the show's, Cherie Arellano, Cherie Arellano has a YouTube channel called The Ascension Sessions. So when I was in San Francisco back in February, we actually sat down for like two hours, and she interviewed me about all my experiences and everything like that. And she is actually on her YouTube channel called The Ascension Sessions. It has a big premiere going on this Friday. 7.30 to 8.30 Pacific or 10.30 to 11.30 Eastern, which is right before our show. And I'd love it if all of you could attend. I haven't even seen it. I don't know what she did. I hope she didn't put any makeup on me, so I'm not any prettier. I could tell you that. But if you want to check that out and learn more about me and uh, the show, I highly suggest you do that. Go check it out. The Ascension Sessions from Cherie on YouTube. So youtube.com forward slash the Ascension Sessions. Make sure you do that. Make sure you do that. All right, let's kick off the news. You know, if anything says stupid, ignorant, just a jerk, it's this one. So this lady driving her Dodge Journey decided in Houston that she was going to try and avoid traffic. So what does she do on Mother's Day? Well, She cuts through the cemetery, running over gravestones of military veterans. Are you kidding me? Apparently, the incident unfolded on Sunday following a flyover from the Lone Star Flight Museum to commemorate the 75th anniversary of VE Day, the end of World War II in Europe. I was shocked and never would have expected that to happen, said Jeremiah Johnson, who recorded the footage. This is Houston, and there are crazy drivers, and I never would have expected to see them going through a cemetery, especially when everyone was there to pay their respects during the patriotic flyover. Amanda Hill, another witness, says that the woman was trying to race out of the area as soon as the flyover ended. She tried to back up and then went up on the curb on the sections where my grandparents are buried, she said. And she couldn't get around some cars, so she just decided that she was going to run over some graves. She heard us yelling at her to stop, but she just kept doing it. Hill added, estimating that the woman drove over a dozens of graves. My mother approached the van, and the driver told her she had to get out. The driver has not yet been identified. The Harris County Constable's Office says they have not received any reports regarding the incident. What a jerk. I mean... That's the lowest of the low right there, is it not? Oh, I don't get it. All right. In Singapore, they have deployed a robot dog to patrol one of its parks, reminding people to keep their distance from one another during the pandemic. Created by the tech wizards at Boston Dynamics, Spot, as it's affectionately known, is steering around the park remotely. The high-tech contraption includes a built-in speaker that broadcasts a recorded message asking people to keep Singapore safe by observing social distancing rules. An attached camera enables Spot to determine crowd levels at any given moment, with officials promising that the technology at no point tracks, recognizes, or collects personal data. Spot will be controlled remotely, reducing the manpower required for park patrols and minimizing physical contact among staff, volunteers, safe distancing, ambassadors, and park visitors to lower risk of exposure due to the virus. Okay, cool. Here's a nice story for New York hospital staff. More than 4,000 members at the hard-hit Elmhurst Hospital have been surprised with a free vacation as thanks for their tireless work fighting the coronavirus. Where can they go? To their apartments? Their houses? 
Oh, yeah, that's a nice staycation. No, but seriously, American Airlines and Hyatt Hyatt Hotels Corporation have teamed up for the gift in recognition of the extraordinary care the hospital staff provided to their community, according to a press release. The workers from doctors and nurses to the facilities and food service teams will receive priority round-trip American Airlines flights and hotel accommodations from Hyatt for three nights in select destinations in the U.S., and Caribbean. We are extremely grateful to Hyatt and American Airlines for this generous gift to our healthcare workers who have been at the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic, says Israel Broca, the Vice President of NYC Health and Hospitals and CEO of NYC Health and Hospitals Elmhurst. Our doctors, nurses, and other staff on the front lines of this unprecedented healthcare crisis really appreciate the outpouring of support from two of America's major companies, and we look forward to taking advantage of all these well earn vacations in the near future. The hospital staff will be able to take advantage of the complimentary travel and hotel accommodations sometime later in the year. Once they're able to take time for themselves, Elmhurst Hospital was one of the first and hardest hit health care providers in New York City. At the peak of the coronavirus outbreak, it had to increase intensive care units by 500 percent. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo said the coronavirus death toll and rate of coronavirus hospitalizations have dropped to the lowest level since the middle of March recently. Well, that's good news. A British policeman and department is reminding the public not to call the 999 emergency numbers for non-emergency situations. This after someone decided to report that their faucets were not dispensing hot water. Yes. The West Yorkshire Police Department said a caller recently decided there wasn't any hot water working, so the police should know how to fix it. If you haven't got any hot water and your heating isn't working, well, then you need an engineer ringing 999 and asking for the police to help won't help you. The reminder comes after the Essex police issued a similar reminder in April when a 999 caller reported they couldn't hear a neighbor's loud or they could hear a neighbor's loud story. Snoring, that is. An unusual 999 call at this time of the day. Caller reporting they can hear someone snoring. Advice was given to them and the snoring is never a reason to call 999 no matter how annoying it is. Yep, there's those people out there. Thank you, Teresa. All right, here's some cool stuff. Earlier this year, scientists discovered that a jellyfish-like parasite doesn't have mitochondrial genomes for the first uh, multicellular organism known to have this absence, which means it does not need oxygen to survive. This discovery isn't just changing the understanding of how life can work here on Earth. It could also have implications for the search for extraterrestrial life, because we know them aliens don't need the air. We know that. Life started to develop the ability to metabolize oxygen, that is, respirate, sometime around 1.45 billion years ago. And you know there's some sort of McDonald's french fries about that old around here somewhere. A larger archaean engulfed a smaller bacterium, and somehow the bacterium's new home was beneficial to both parties, and the two stayed together, whatever that means. Oh, you know what? Looking at this thing, it honestly looks like a bunch of alien heads. Oh, that's kind of weird, actually. So apparently scientists are trying to figure out the adaptations that somehow organisms to thrive in low oxygen or hypoxic conditions. Some single-celled organisms have evolved mitochondria-related organelles from anaerobic metabolism, but the possibility of exclusively anaerobic multicellular organisms has been the subject of some scientific debate. Well, that's kind of cool. Are we soon not going to need air? That would be kind of interesting. Of course, Captain Shirk puts on this in here, and this is another reason why you should not go in the oceans, Teresa, to check out the luminescence because a surfer was killed in a shark attack north off the coast of Northern California Beach this past weekend. Yeah, Ben Kelly died surfing on the Manresa State Beach on the northern end of Monterey Bay about 100 yards from shore just before 1.30 p.m. The 26-year-old is said to have been well-known in Santa Cruz's surfing community. He ran a local business handcrafting boards and had been described by his friends as one of a kind. Pictures on social media show Ben with his wife Katie 
and out in the water. They also show him making boards for others. Paying tribute, Instagram users wrote, Ben, you are one of a kind, one of the good ones, and you will be sorely missed. Aloha, bro, and much love on your journey to surfing in the stars. At least I know you will have a good board under your feet. Posting a picture of Ben with his surfboard, friend Johnny Brewer said, BK had one of the biggest hearts you'll ever, and you'll be missed, brother, till our next surf up in the clouds. See, prime example here, okay? There's sharks. There's sharks. You know, I was watching all these videos recently. Honestly, I was watching all these videos recently of the luminescent uh, stuff that's uh, in California right now. It looks really cool. Looks really cool. And they showed this picture of people like, you know, jumping in the water. They're like chest deep and they're like diving into into the waves and everything. And all I could think about is that's pure great white territory, pure great white territory. Now, it's not the sharks problem. Let's be honest. As much as I'm scared of them, it's not the sharks problem. It's our problem for wanting to go surfing. Yes. Although her family is taking a coronavirus pandemic seriously, it's not stopping 82-year-old Leona LaFlo from getting out and enjoying their company. LaFlo and her family members get together while practicing social distancing through regular drive-bys. No guns allowed. LaFlo's daughter and escort, Roberta LaFlo, organizes the drive-bys through phone calls and online messaging. We stay in our car, they stay in their yard, and we talk to each other, Roberta says. She said that they have a large family that is accustomed to socializing routinely. Whatever excuse we have, we will get together. My mom just loves it, says the younger LaFlo. So it was hard when the pandemic restrictions that kept the family's elder members safe interfered with those gatherings. She does miss everybody the solution been well well received sean laflo of rolla says his family hurried together on the lawn when they received a call that his grandmother was going to be driving by we thought it was awesome it was a definitely a treat we were all waiting outside it was a great day to see grandma and everybody was happy and smiling until grandma rolled up you know, bounce it in the car with an AK-47 out the window. No, that did not happen. I'm just letting my imagination run wild because we've used the word drive-bys a couple of times. Bygones. It's all good. We know she's feeling isolated, he said, so it was nice to see Grandma out and about knowing that she is socializing appropriately. Giving air hugs is now a familiar practice. After a few weeks of drive-bys, Leona lives with a son just outside of Belcourt. Roberta LaFlo said she is able to escort her mother because she herself has limited public exposure in working from home. That's actually a kind of a cool story. For video conference calls that are starting to get, oh, a little humdrum, the Louisville Zoo has some guests to keep things lively. Using Zoom and just 75 bucks, which is tax deductible on a donation, you can have Fitz the Elephant or Kenick the Polar Bear Make an appearance in your meeting. Yes, social media is one way zoos worldwide have been engaging with people who can no longer visit their main source of income and raise some much-needed money. You know, that would be really cool. It really would. And for a good cause, too, even though the animals should be in the wild. But that's just me. While many people have been working in non-traditional ways lately and have possibly been experiencing fatigue in the work-from-home lifestyle, including zoo animal ambassadors, you know, you can include them in your next conference call. It brings a much-needed smile. Can you imagine opening up your your meeting with your bosses? Next thing you know, there's a big elephant trunk just kind of hanging out there. That would be hilarious. Sonny the Sloth, Petey the Camel, and some of the gorillas and giraffes are also available to participate. Go to their website. Yeah, louisvillezoo.com. Check it on out. Well worth it. And finally, oh, we read that one. That was a hot water story. I don't know why I got that one in there twice. Well, I guess that means let's get to the thought of the day. do 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 Cuterebra, Ron Bumblefoot Thal. That's this song. Thought of the Day happens every night at this time where we ask a question on our Facebook and Twitter pages. Then read your responses on the air because we love the audience participation around here. Today's Thought of the Day is as follows. In a paragraph, tell me about the best haunted location you've ever been to. 
Shanna, we're kicking things off with you. The building I worked at for 10 years up until the lockdown, one employee swears she saw my doppelganger go down the hallway and upstairs to my office, so convinced that she followed it and saw it disappear. Noises, lights on and off, touching when someone's alone, and that's just experiences of others. I've seen a black shadowy figure 10 feet away cruise through the room, smelled sweaty mechanic before swept off my feet, falling down at least three steps on the stairs. Oh my goodness. Being affected and overwhelmed with hate and rage for no reason and seen it happen to two others. It goes on and on. The room next to my desk is very active. I watch employees stand in front of it, get full of chills and freak out. I've seen numerous strange things. I've learned not to fear it anymore now that I can protect myself in this realm. Rahonda. Gettysburg, it's an eerie quietness which feels as if the veil between the living and the dead is whisper thin. Julie, I went down to the Keys with my first husband, having a lovely time until going to the bar Hemingway was known to frequent. Couldn't even go inside. He went in by himself. Pervasive sense of evil. Intense need to get off the island better as soon as we hit the bridge. Alcatraz Juan. Driving past your high school after 45 years, it's still in use. It may not be haunted, but it will sure seem that way. They're here. The house I grew up in in Kansas was an old schoolhouse from like 1890. It had a well, stairs under stairs that led to nowhere. I even saw a ball of lightning orb come through the wall and hover into the middle of my living room right in front of my face, then exploded like the sun. Oh, my goodness, that's kind of eerie. All right, let's move on. Keith, the best haunted location I've ever been to is Cairo, Illinois. You can feel the spirits of the past impinging upon the present. Though the living make their homes there, they go about life in the carcass of the destroyed hopes of the past. Buildings are empty and nature is slowly reclaiming them, but you can still see the violence of yesterday's. Burnt out hulks and bullet-ridden walls proclaim their history. Yeah, this town in Illinois was destroyed by racial hate and ignorance, black versus white. Those who have and those who have not, ignorance ruled and death followed after. What spirit walked there, if any, cry out for ju uh, justice. So if you ever are in the southern tip of Illinois, drive through Cairo and look and listen to the whispers from the past. That's kind of cool. Thank you. Nick. It doesn't count for much, but back in the day, I snuck into the Charles Campbell Hospital here in Edmonton. It felt creepy, but I didn't have any weird experiences. Joe, who's been multiply, uh, multiple times taken by aliens, he says, Some friends and I went down to a bar in Mexico. We should have known something was odd when we noticed it was only open from sunset to sunrise. I don't know if the place was haunted, but we did have to kill a lot of vampires to get out of there. They did have a great floor show. A real pretty lady. Dance with a snake. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Nikki, a Snohomish County hospital in Washington State has the most spirits I've come across, including a number of dark entities I saw that like to slither and crawl from floors to walls to ceilings. Had some staff tell me there's a problematic room on a certain floor in a specific wing. They weren't kidding based on what I felt, saw, and based on the staff who were scared for patients and themselves in and out of that room. Rather stunned that the hospital hasn't dealt with that problematic room in a professional manner years ago or even recently, especially after there's so many odd occurrences and finally renee the recent haunted location i've been in was where i'm living now a dark entity lived in the attic with the spirit of a child that died in that same attic we also had a spirit of a little girl and a man that seemed connected to that little girl doors would open and close on their own things would go missing and then found again where they were left and other poltergeist activity. Due to the dark entity, we had a cleansing, and so far, so good. Now we've had no more activity. Thank you to everybody participating in the Thought of the Day. We will do it all again tomorrow, which is absolutely awesome that we will. I hope you play along, too, on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you to Captain Shirk for putting together a fantastic SOR Newswire. And to Bill Hauser, Vancouver, British Columbia, paranormal investigator, for coming on in, doing live ghost box sessions with us. 
teaching us all about it, getting your participation in the chat rooms, and hopefully you getting some answers from your loved ones and friends on the other side. Hopefully you got a chance to hear them and hear their message. Bill will be back in on the second Monday of July. We got Mr. Ron Bumblefoot Thaw rocking in the background with Little Brother is Watching. Bumblefoot is the official music of Spaced Out Radio, rocking us in and out of every single show. Get your horns up for the guitar god himself. Special thanks to everybody listening in at home, at work, in your cars, wherever you may be. Thank you to everyone participating in our chat rooms on Spreaker, LGAB, YouTube, Revolution Radio, Facebook, the Space Travelers Club on our website, and on Twitter at hashtag Spaced Out Radio. Remember, this show is copyright by Spaced Out Radio and SOR Media Ventures Limited. I know you're out there somewhere. Thank you so much for deciding to share your evening with us. That means the world to me. Thank you so much for joining us because together, my friends, we own the night. Mr. Bumblefoot, we need a favor. We need you to take us home. Yeah, let's do it. Tomorrow night, we're going to have some fun again. I want you to come join us. There's a lot of seats open on the Woo train. Come punch your ticket with us on the mighty SOR. Good night.